What's up, everybody? Barrett Lowe again, back with the reactions, aka B Cash, aka B Buckers. And today we got the Nets and the Hawks. And now, these Atlanta Hawks are a team I kind of disrespected before the NBA season. I wasn't trying to, but in today's day and age, if you're not all for somebody, you're a hater and you're disrespectful. So I'm just roll with it. I was disrespectful, disrespecting them by saying when my when I made my Eastern playoff predictions, I didn't have them in there. It wasn't because I didn't believe in them. I said I could easily see them being a top five seed in the East. But if I had to pick, I put teams like the Pacers, the Celtics, the Raptors, the Heat, the Nets, the Bucks, the Wizards were at my eight seed. I think that might be eight teams. And yeah, that would, those teams I just all be, believed in slightly more than the Hawks. I had to see it from the Hawks first, and they're off to a good start. We got a nail biter here, so let's get into it. Let's watch and react. Yes, sir. Starting it up. All right, we got Steve Nash on the sidelines. Got the mask on. Not from the part of the game I caught. I will call it the end. You know, I don't be trying to watch too much of these games. I'm about to react to, but he was taking that mask on and stuff. They're not as he was taking it off a little bit when he was yelling at the refs. They're not nearly as tight about the COVID protocols and the masks and stuff in the NBA as they are in the NFL, which is interesting. You know, I would think that the NFL wouldn't be as much, but it is what it is. You know, I think it's just the head coaches that be taking it on and off. But there's KD with the pull up J. Lobster, Clint Capella. Clint Capella's eating, man. He has been, for a rim-running center, he has been in some of the best positions that you could ask to be in for his for his position, man, and how he plays. He's got to play with James Harden. All he had to do was stand at the rim, lob it up. You know, KD got to add him for that. And now he's with Trey Young and just a bunch of shooters, and it's just easy for him. You know, if he was in a team that needed offense... It's kind of it's kind of like DeAndre Jordan when he was with that Lob City team. Then once he went to Dallas and went to some other teams, he's not quite the same player. But now we got Trey Young going off. Sheesh, I've never been huge on Trey Young. Like I know he's a talent, a super a crazy talent, but he's just never been my type of guy. But he's going off to start this season. You cannot deny that. Absolutely not. John Collins, he's my type of guy more so. I said before the season he might be their best player. People got mad at me. Trey Young's probably their best player. I just said he might be. I like John Collins, but KD slashing towards the rim. Karis LeVert, sixth man of the year candidate. Great pass. Jared Allen. I wonder if he's tied about coming off the bench, man. DeAndre Jordan really took his spot because he's friends with Kyrie and them. Crazy. Oh, we got Karis bringing it up. That man's running that second unit. Especially now that Spencer Dinwiddie's gone. I don't know. I haven't checked to see who's taking his place in the starting lineup. So it's possible Levert's starting and I missed it, but I don't think so. I think they keep, still have him coming as a six man. I have to look. Landry Shamey's off the bench. He's been shooting it horribly. Yeah, my bad. I should have checked. I, I don't like looking too much into the games when I'm about to uh, watch highlights because I like to be, you know, surprised from some stuff I didn't see, you know? React to it with y'all. But if y'all want me to have this knowledge beforehand, maybe I'll, I'll start looking at the stats and stuff. Trey Young skipping through that lane. And we got DeAndre trying to back in. They thought when he moved to Dallas, that's what he was going to be doing all the time, man. I remember Mark Cuban was talking about, he's like a shack. He hasn't been given the opportunity. Uh, I mean, um, they tried that for like a game or two when he went to Dallas. And yeah, it's not his game, man. No slander to DeAndre, but he's no shack. <laughs> KD, oh man. I feel like I I kind of took him for granted once he went to the Warriors. You know, I'm a Warriors fan, but I was just like, hey, we didn't need you. You know, I'm one of those guys. You know, I like KD for sure. I don't want to disrespect him, but it's like you get to see like how great of a team basketball player he could be with the Warriors and that he could fit in any system. But you forget that like even off a torn Achilles, this man can drop 30 and he can really kill teams. Like he wasn't really like demoralizing to opponents like he is now. Or like he did with the Thunder even sometimes because because with the Warriors, it wasn't a single-handed ever. It was just a team offense. Just everyone was hit, contributing. Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, even a little Draymond Green, those guys. He didn't flourish as much. He flourished, don't get me wrong. But he didn't you know make as much of a statement. He wasn't really getting into the hearts of opponents as much. Great pass, Joe Year. That's one thing he's improved with the Warriors. Probably passing and defense for sure. Learn how to play as more than just a ISO score, even though it was a little more than that beforehand. Trey Young going crazy. 
Kyrie. Thought they were going to KD. Oh, you can't sag off Joey Harry. I know you're a shooter, Trey Young, and you think on defense you can just sit back or chill. Nah, you can't sag lag off. You can't sag off Joey Harry. Fish, Kawhi, man. That man is a magician. He's probably the worst leader out of any star player I've ever seen. But when he's got the right situation, that man can ball. It is just a thing. That, it's a sight to see, man. He's with a teammate he likes. He's motivated because he's had a few rough seasons in a row. And now he's just ready to go crazy. And rough seasons by his own standards. You know what I'm saying? Disappointing, I guess I should say. Landry Shammy's finally starting to get going a little bit. That man last year was a little disappointing season for him because he was going crazy his rookie year. Making plays in the playoffs, starting for the Clippers. He showed a lot of problems. He's a real good college too for Wyoming. No, not Wyoming. Wichita State. I messed up college names a lot. I know they're jerseys and stuff in my head. But is that right? That is Raging Rondo. Rajon Rondo. It's a little easy pass. Bogdani. It's a Bucks fan. That man's nice, but I'm not that we didn't get him. Dante DiVincenzo's been open. Had a dream about that man last night. Stay tuned to my Bucks video. I'm going to react to them too. I'm going to let y'all know about my dream with him and Thanasis Antetokounmpo. K Dizzle. K D. Crisscross. And then, of course, he'll feed you the spoonful of applesauce. Nice little drop off, Torian Prince. Used to former Hawk. He's probably trying to get loose on them, but when you got KD, KD's gonna be the one getting loose. You're just gonna have to take your little drop off passes, your little open looks off of him and K Kyrie. Handy, heard her doing the job, tossing it up, and then Johnny Colley will do the job after his own handy. Rajon loves that spot these days. Ooh, tenacious. Like I said, I'm not saying he's their best player. I'm just saying, don't rule it out. He's he's in that competition with Trey Young. Swing it to carry. Give him the vert. Easy lay. DeAndre. Skip through. Clint Capella trying to keep it going. Clint Capella's working down there, man. He, he feasts in these type of offenses where it's just four guys surrounding the perimeter, him run the inside. Yes, sir. You know, John Collins plays both inside and outside, but he definitely stays in the outside a lot in this offense. Kyrie trying to go to work now. It's fourth quarter. He loves these moments. I think I started watching around here. He loves working those little middies in these moments. Lawawu Kabaro. Whoo, good kick out. That man cut when he was wide open for three. They're not going to show it because my one pet peeve about these highlights is they don't show anything, any place when they don't score, really. But there was one time where he was wide open. Kyrie passed it to him without looking, and he just cuts the rim instead of wanting to shoot the open corner three. <clears throat> good drop off DeAndre Hunter, Clint Capella. That man is feasting like it's Thanksgiving and a turkey. With some cranberry sauce. Now that's a meal. You can't give Kyrie that little midi jumper. Not even a midi. That's like six foot jumper, seven foot jumper. That's right inside the paint. That's easy. Now that is tough. There is only a very few players in the league that could shoot that shot. And people aren't saying it's a bad shot. Oh my gosh. Even back in the day, there was nobody. You know, the great point guards back in the day. I see a Thomas for the Pistons wasn't shooting that. Oh my gosh. I don't know if he was doing that either. He was, but still. Oh my gosh. Chris Coss and feed him with the applesauce at the rim. Oh, Jab. Woo. Cam Reddish. I doubted him. I'm a Duke fan. I've been down him. We'll see if he could prove me wrong, man. A little. I don't even know what to call that. It's kind of a Euro. I guess he ate the Euro. Yeah, give that back to Kyrie. You know better than that. Oh, my lord. Oh, gosh. A deep one. He had no hesitation. All right, you don't want it? I was giving you a chance, but you don't want it? Okay, I'll take it. If you don't want it, I'll take it. Trey Young says, well, I'm going to keep it close. I'm going to keep make sure I keep it close. You don't keep getting my stats. No ISO. In and out. Give him the burger. Give him the burger. Oh, he fed the... Oh. When I watched that live, I didn't think it was... I thought it was clean, but it was a block when they showed the replay. I watched it before. Yeah. 
Good freebies, though. 30 and 10. Like, a, yo, don't call me crazy for saying he might be their best player. He might be, because he can play a little two-way. He might be 30 and 10. All I'm saying is don't rule it out. Johnny Colley and Kyrie, we already know he's getting daggers. Up three. Think it fell off. Jamma Slamma. Slamma Jamma. NBA Jam. Finish it off. K Dizzle. And Trey Owen don't want to hurt his tats. No, sir. Man, 145, 120, 41. Is that what I saw? This NBA is crazy, man. That is the score. But these Hawks, they're off to a good start. I'm still not backing off it. I feel like Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal could still get it going. They're looking like they're going to make the playoffs. I'm just saying, let's wait a little bit. I've seen some really great starts before. I know they have what it takes, but we'll see if they can keep it going. We'll see if the Wizards get a turnaround. I'm expecting them to make the playoffs, but I'm not backing off my opinion yet. So we'll see. The Nets, they're looking like the one seed. You know, I've had a lot of hopes for the Bucks to be the one seed, but we'll get into that next video. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. Drop a comment, hit the like, and then subscribe. Yes, sir. Please.